Hi everyone and welcome to the latest edition of Pompey Women's Vlogs! We're at the PMC Stadium where Pompey are taking on Gillingham in the League Cup. So thank you for joining us again for another one of our vlogs. Uh, it is scorching here today. It's really hot to the point where we've actually come under the tree. You wouldn't think it's September. You think it was like a pre-season game, wouldn't you? You would think it was the summer and so, it's going into the winter. So Pompey are in League Cup action today. Now we've followed Pompey women for about three years and we've yet to have a cup run. So we're quite excited about this. The fact that we're in through to another round of the cup. Um, potential for more extra time though on a day like this like we had extra time in the last round we don't want that again um, playing Gillingham today who we share a league with they're in our league as well Gillingham are a lot stronger than they were last year um, they didn't have the best of seasons last year but they they from early results they appear to be a lot stronger so how are you feeling about the game really? I don't think it's gonna be as easy as it was last time last year no, well, last year, like at home, it was quite, it was hammering it down. We beat them 4 1 last year at home and it was absolutely hammering it down. I remember that. But the away game was, um, we only just beat them with a Katie James, well, it's 2 0, but Katie James scored an a absolute worldy free kick. Um, but this year, I think, like Abby said, I think it's going to be tougher this year. They're not going to roll over. They're going to be a tough side today and we're going to have to be really on it. Fantastic performance from the girls last week 8 0 win against Hounslow. Um, and they're going to look to carry that on. So let's hope they can do that. Now I understand there's three changes today and that's the advantage of having such a strong squad. Jay can rotate his players. Uh, three changes today. So should we have a look at the lineup? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so lineup for today. We've got Mel Burns in goal. We've got a back five of Ailey Curry, Laura Ingram, Captain Amelia Southgate, Becca Tonks and Hayley Bridge. Uh, midfield three is uh, Jade Bradley and Dan Rose sitting and then Becky Bath in the 10 rule. And then up top we've got Jade Widows and Tamsin DeBunson. On the bench today we've got Roxy Lee Stewart, Charmaine True, Mia Adaway and Jazz Younger. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... The Laura, Ingram, don't Yeah. <laughs> what are your previous clubs? Um, I first started at Pompey, then I went over to Chichester, and then I've come back to Pompey this season. What position do you play? Left back. When did you join Pompey? Oh. You already answered that. Yeah. New, oh, yeah. new signing this season. When, what made you join Pompey, I mean? <laughs> oh, um, I was looking for a new challenge, looking for a you know, new team, sort of something to get fresh again and see what else I can develop in my football. We notice you like headering the ball. <laughs> Is it being good heading an advantage in the women's game? Oh, hugely, especially, well, because as a defender as well, so I've got to do a lot of those goal kicks coming down over me, and I love going up for corners as well, scoring. Describe in three words what you're like. What I'm like? Oh, gosh. Um, That's really how I would have said it. Yeah. At least that isn't what it says, but... Well, three, how I would have said it. Three words. Um, I'm quite quiet, actually. Um, can be a bit short-tempered. Um, does that count as three? Short-tempered? Yeah, well, that's <laughs> a, short -tempered. What about as a player? How do you, do, player. How do you describe yourself to oh, someone who's player. never seen you before? Yeah. Oh, rapid. <laughs> oh, rapid, yeah. Rapid. Ambidextrous. Eye for goal? Eye for goal. Oh, not quite. I get a, as no, a, as a I get a no speed if I get too <laughs> high up. <laughs> <laughs> what are your expectations on today's game? In today's game, um, I think it's going to be a, a bit of a challenge. I think they're just as much up for it as we are. Um, so we've just got to work harder and put the shift in and show that we want it more, you know? But I think it's going to be a good one. Well, thank you for joining us. No worries. Any time. Cheers. <laughs>
Okay, so it's half time here at PMC Stadium. Uh, Pompey nil, Gillingham nil. What do you make of that, Abby? It's okay, but not. We could have a better performance, really. Yeah, um, both. I mean, there were no clear cut chances, really. I mean, a few scrambles, but um, Pompey trying hard with that little sort of dinked ball over the top to um, Jade and Tamsin, but it's not come off yet. Ginningham look a lot better than they did last year, as we expected them to. They're relatively solid at the back. Um, it's going to take a lot of persistence. We're going to have to get on with it and really push them uh, into a mistake, I think, to get a goal in the second half. And we've got to be really careful because they break quick and um, we've nearly been caught out a couple of times. Agree? Yeah, I agree with you. Sometimes they don't, though. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, we need to be careful on, about that break. So. I feel it's a real 50-50 game. It could go either way. They could score on the break and we could struggle to get back into it. If they bank up, if they score and then bank up, we're going to have a real problem breaking through these lot. So, um, yeah, I think an earlyish goal would probably be preferable here. But let's see how the second half goes.
Full time here at the PMC, Pompey 3, Gillingham 2! Wow, what a game, what a game that was. Oh. I, I felt, as I walked on that pitch, I just had kind of a sort of feeling that we might have lost, but then it just won. It great game on it i mean the players are all over abby because she walked out holding the hands of laura ingram and jade widows and they both score laura's goal being a off her bum i mean it was brilliant what a game gillingham keeper was nothing short of i mean i say sensational a lot on the vlogs but the gillingham keeper was nothing short of superb she was really good and she really kept gillingham in the game with some excellent excellent saves um, Pompey were brilliant today. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So positive, so attacking. They never gave up. The fitness level showed by the players going into extra time in this heat was full credit to the Batman staff. It's just one of those games where you go toe to toe with the opposition who are as good as you are and you come out on top and it feels brilliant. Brilliant. It feels good. Oh. Well, we have one minute of footage left. We're not gonna keep you for that long. Um, thank you very much for joining us again. If you could like the video, subscribe to our channel, that would be brilliant. Our next match, we're at home again. Again. To Oxford, who are also a very good side. And they have ex-Pompey players, Daisy McLachlan and Ellie Kirby. What the <laughs> So, yeah, that's going to be a really tough test next week at the PMC. So, yeah, we'll see you then. <laughs>